Homebrewers and welcome to Homebrew Wild and Cheap. So today is a very exciting day. It is part two of the Coca-Cola wine that we started a couple of months ago. Now I could have just left it for one month and then stopped, but it was at the 1% mark and that would have been 6%. It still had some sugar left, so I let it go an extra month. And in that time, it has fermented to pure dryness. Wow. 991 if you want to be perfectly exact. So it is very, very, very marginally slightly underneath 7%. But I'm calling it 7% because, uh, yeah, there's no point doing points of... It's rubbish. It's homebrew. About is right. So, I have poured myself a cheeky glass of this Coca-Cola wine because I want to try it before I bottle it. Uh, mainly because if this is disgusting and foul, I don't want it, so I'll pour it away. And it was an interesting experiment. Now, I originally got the idea from seeing another YouTuber's video. Now, they used a lot of baking powder to try and neutralize the acids. I went down a different route, which is changing the yeast. So I used a cider yeast, which, as you know, apples contain kind of, it's kind of acidic and, you know. So we're going to see if that worked. So I have myself a glass of the Coca-Cola wine, right here. I uh, also have a cheeky pint, just in case it tastes absolutely disgusting. So, cheers. Honestly, it's not bad. Hey! So, it doesn't really taste of Coca-Cola. It doesn't really taste of alcohol. Uh, it's it's kind of weird. I know it's fermented to seven percent, so it's still it's quite strong for what it is. The sugar brings out the flavor of the Coca Cola. We all know that. That is why Coca Cola is jam packed full of sugar. What I have basically done is got a sugar free, sweetener free Coca Cola, just in its bare bones with alcohol. So I've got myself some sweetener. Now my choice of sweetener is sucralose based sweetener, which is a sugar based sweetener, not a spartamine. The reason that I've chosen this is because it is sugar based and I don't like a spartamine. If you like that, you can add that if you really want to do this. So I'm going to add just one teaspoon on a silver spoon and mix it in. It's always weird when you add some type of sugar or sweetener in and it fizzes because this is still. Put the lid on because, funny enough, you let the air get in here, the moisture gets in. So now this has a bit of, sh bit of sweetener in. So let's see what it tastes like. Wow. That has made a world of difference. Just one. I think it's going to need two. Yeah, I think two, two per sort of hundred mil. My, my personal thing. So basically now, it has really got a Coca-Cola flavor. And funny enough, a mild sweetener flavor, but that will mellow over time. This is a pretty good sweetener, as far as I'm concerned. You can't really taste the alcohol. It's a bit like having a single vodka and Coke. You know there's alcohol in there, but you can't really taste it. So I would say this is a success. I mean, it hasn't made me throw up. It has fermented, it hasn't gone off. It's pretty good. Pretty good, I would say, indeed. So, what I've got here, I'm going to only keep two liters, uh, mainly because I don't really have any need for it. This was fun. You guys supporting my channel by watching my videos has really, you know, done some cool stuff. Well, it means I can just go nutty and do lots of random things, as well as things I normally do. So, I am using a still 2 litre spring bottle. I have emptied it, I have sterilized it, uh, mainly because it was full of water that I got from the tap a few weeks ago. Because I went to Walker Stalker in London, the big city. So, my side has been sterilized. Uh, I wanted to try it before, since this is definitely not one for the larder, or one for the cellar, I should call it. It is just, uh, it's one to be drunk pretty much straight away. So what I am going to do is I'm going to turn this back into Coca-Cola. 
alcoholic Coca-Cola. It's going to be sugar-free Coca-Cola. Who needs Diet Coke when you can make your own? So I've got myself a sterilized clean siphon tube. In you go. Oop. Get in there. Get in. This is the only downside to these little small tubes. There we go. I have made my siphon. And keep it low. Now because I'm using a smaller section of siphon tube, I'm going to have to hold it. Lame. But at least I get some control. So, I have now got a plan, and I don't have a plan. I, I, don't, I never have a plan. I don't know what's going on. No. So, we have now transferred two liters out of the 4.5 liters of uh, Coca-Cola wine into this, mainly because I don't need a gallon of uh, cola wine. It was an experiment, and it was good. Now, just to finish off the experiment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carbonate this again by, funny enough, fermentation, just like we did with the beers. Now, I've put it in a plastic bottle, mainly because if this goes bang, it's just going to make a mess and a loud noise. If I put it into glass bottles and I put too much sugar in, it will go bang and I will have a bottle grenade. And I don't really fancy high-pressure glass flying everywhere. So, I'm going to start off by priming this. I have got my, I've actually got a measuring teaspoon, and I'm going to add two teaspoons, which is five mil of actual sugar into here. Now the reason I'm adding in the actual sugar of five mil is you can add a bit more in, but I'm going to use the finger funnel. There you go. But I just want this to be a mildly, well, a relatively mild carbonated beverage. I don't want to go excessive because uh, no one likes anything excessive. I don't want to open it up and it explodes with the fountain, which would look cool, but uh, not what I'm after. So I'm going to use the same measuring, measuring apparatus instead of just the spoon. And I'm going to use my sucralose sweetener for the actual sweetness. So it's going to taste a lot like Coca-Cola again. So I wanted two teaspoons per 250 mil, funny enough. Two liters, so there is, uh, blah, 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 blah. it's about 16 of these that go into here, which is quite a lot of sweetener. So one, two, and 16. Right, and just a little bit left around, but good enough. As you can tell, the finger fennel isn't perfect, because I've still got this random stuff here, but for all intents and purposes, that is 16 teaspoons, actual teaspoons measured with a measuring spoon. Just in case you want to create this yourself, because it's not actually that bad. Now, I could take some of the crust off the bottom of my Coca-Cola brew, but I'm going to, for simplicity and because I can, I'm going to re-inoculate it with cider yeast. Now it doesn't need to do, it's not for the purpose of fermenting alcohol. It's um, basically in there just for one simple reason. That is to add a little bit of carbonation. So you only really need just the smallest little sprinkle. I know it's a little wasteful considering, but I could have just used that. But just to make sure I'm adding in a fresh batch of yeast. So now it goes, take this off. Now I haven't bothered to degas it because I'm going to gas it again, funny that. And now I'm just going to shake this all up to make sure the sugar has been dissolved in here. And this is going to give the yeast something to turn into gas. Because funny enough, that's a byproduct. And that smallest amount of sugar will make this a perfect 7%. So right, that is that. This should be done in about a week. Uh, I put it somewhere kind of warm, and it's going to ferment the little dribble of sugar I've added in. And this is going to carbonate it, so it's going to taste a lot like a vodka and coke. Yeah. This, unfortunately, I have no use for. This is going to stay as an experiment, 
and we're going to open this up in a couple of weeks and we're hopefully going to have some fizzy alcoholic coca-cola novel right and it doesn't taste terrible i was expecting to need to drink uh my beer but i don't this is seven percent it is quite palatable considering if you like coca-cola then you're gonna like this fantastic win i think for Coca-Cola kind, that you can actually ferment Coca-Cola, and it doesn't taste bad. So, with that being said, we'll come back in a few weeks and we will try this again while it's being carbonated. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's you guys that have made things like this possible, otherwise uh, I wouldn't be doing it. I'd just be doing boring stuff like, you know, ciders and wines. So, thank you very much, and don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Uh, your continuing support and watching my videos and the comments the things that keep me going so I will catch you in the next video guys I'll see you later